Let's bring in Steve Doherty, Executive Director of Youth Without Shelter. Steve, welcome. Good to have you here with us today. Thank you for having me, Renee. Now, your organization is not directly involved with this encampment. But that being said, how much of an increase have you seen in these types of shelters? Well, they're springing up all over the city. They have been for some time, especially since the start of COVID uh, uh, lockdowns. But we're having more and more youth coming into our shelter talking about the fact that they've left these encampments because of the safety issues. Not only the assaults, robberies, uh, the fires that are happening. It's a really unsafe condition, uh, according to what the youth are telling us. Right. Now, those living in the encampment say it's a community for them. And having them move, what does that do to their sense of safety and comfort? Well, yeah, that's the real fine line that you have to look at. Eight of the nine people that were present were moved into uh, shelter hotel sites. Hats off to Gord Tanner and the whole team at Shelter Support and Housing Administration in Toronto for allowing these people to move into safe places to be with full wraparound supports as well as access uh, to housing benefits as well. How would you say the city handled the clearing? Uh, this time, I think the city got it right. There's been hundreds of contact with streets to home workers. They did it well. They let people know what was happening. Uh, Mayor Chow, I think, did a great job with that. And I think the city got it right this time. Is there any kind of plan that you would want the city to put in place as a more permanent solution? Well, obviously, we need more housing. Uh, the rapid housing initiatives that are available, we're seeing more of them and more of them being announced by the city. Uh, in partnerships, we saw the Ontario government increase the top up to funding for the Canada Ontario housing benefit. We're seeing moves in the right direction. We need to increase housing stock, obviously, but we're moving towards that and we're getting to the time where people will actually be able to access housing that is uh, affordable and safe. All right. Steve Doherty, Executive Director with Youth Without Shelter, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you, Renee.